Hi, thanks for joining me today. This yoga video is going to help us celebrate Earth Day. We're going to find some nice grounding postures to do to help connect us to the earth. So you won't need any special props today, just your yoga mat. So we'll start in mountain pose, Tadasana. So feet hip distance apart. I'm going to start facing you um, for this first part, but go ahead and come to the end of your mat. We'll be doing a flow from there so you can start facing the end of your mat. So starting again in that mountain pose, so feet hip distance apart, lift all the toes up off the mat, spread the toes, place the toes back down. Think of the inner arch of the foot lifting, the kneecaps lifting, feel the sternum lift, feel the energy through the crown of the head, feel the shoulder blades relax down, feel the fingers, fingertips reaching down towards the earth feel the heaviness of the heels as they're making connection with the earth and then just for a few moments close the eyes or just take a gentle gaze down past the nose and just begin to let your focus turn inward feel the connection that your feet are making with the earth feel the energy from the earth moving all the way up from the soles of the feet to the crown of the head. Begin to deepen the breath. As you breathe in through the nose, let the breath drop down into the bottom of the lungs. And then take a longer breath out. Again, deeper breath in. Longer breath out. One more just like that. Deep breath in. Long breath out. And then as you take your next inhale with the eyes open, inhaling, float the arms all the way up and overhead. Reach up through the fingertips. Pause here for a few breaths. So as the fingertips reach up, yeah, we're feeling that energy going from the soles of the feet all the way up through the crown of the head, through the fingertips. Th think of the lowest ribs drawing towards the hips so we're not letting, letting those lowest ribs jut forward. Inhale and exhale. And if it feels okay for your neck, you can take the gaze a little up. Think of the sternum lifting. Inhale and exhale. And then bring the palms together, bring the hands down to the heart and then a little bit more with the breath. So inhale, arms float all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to the heart. Go a couple more times just like that, sun breath, inhaling. And exhale. Good, once more, inhale. And exhale. Now this time, inhale again, float the arms all the way up palms touch. As you exhale, let the knees bend, fold all the way down, standing forward bend. Fall, pause here for a few breaths. Again, really a nice bend in the knees here. Breathing in and out through the nose. Just let everything relax. You can take hold of opposite elbows if you like, but still feel that connection of your feet to the earth. We're really feeling that connection down through the soles of the feet. And then let the hands release, bring the hands to the fronts of the shins. Inhale, lift up halfway, nice length through the crown of the head. Exhale, bend the knees once again, bring the hands to the mat. Step back to downward facing dog. So the right leg's gonna step back, the left leg's gonna step back. So take a moment here to check your alignment. So we want the hands to be shoulders distance apart, the feet hip distance apart. Go ahead and bend the knees to start with so you find a nice length in your spine. Feel again the connection that your body's making with the earth. So feeling the connection of the hands and the feet. Think of breathing up and down the length of your spine. Maybe gently pedal the feet here a little bit if you'd like. And then looking towards the hands, take a big step forward with the right leg and the left leg back to that standing forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, bend the knees again, fold all the way down and then float the arms out to the side. Come all the way back up, bring the palms together, bring the hands to the heart. Take a breath, inhale and exhale. So we'll do that little flow once again. So inhale, float the arms up. 
palms touch, exhale, fold all the way down, let those knees bend, inhale, halfway up, nice length through the crown of the head, exhale, bending the knees, hands to the mat, step back with the left leg this time, leading into your downward facing dog. So a couple breaths here, again, maybe those knees bend, maybe you pedal through the feet a little bit, maybe a little lift up onto the toes and then a release down through the heels. Again, just find a little movement or find a stillness and then just find that movement with your breath. And then looking towards the hands, big step forward now, left leg and right leg back to that standing forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold all the way down, float the arms out of the side again, coming all the way up, bring the palms together. Exhale again, hands to the heart. Inhaling and exhale. So we're gonna add on to that little flow. So inhale, float the arms up, palms touch, exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, bend the knees, hands to the mat, step back again, downward facing dog, right leg, left leg. Inhale and exhale. Now tag a little weight into the left heel, inhale, lift the right leg up, look towards the hands, bend the right knee, step the right foot up in between the hands, drop the back heel to the side, and then reach those arms up and open the hips towards the long sides of your mat. Come into warrior two. Inhale and exhale. Again, really feel that connection with the earth. Nice grounded posture here, looking out over that right middle finger. Make sure that right knee is right over top of your ankle. Inhale and exhale. Now bend the front elbow, rest that elbow on the thigh, and then sweep that left arm forward, bring it up alongside the ear. Nice side angle stretch here. Now option, you can bring the hand to 12 o'clock up towards the ceiling or the sky. You can rest the hand across your lower back if it feels better for your shoulder. Inhale and exhale. And then a little movement here, sweep that arm all the way up and around. Nice big circle. Good. And then the next time that arm comes back, bring it all the way forward, both hands down to the mat. Left hand to the mat, take a twist, reach that right arm up and twist to your right. You can lower that back knee down if you'd like. Inhale and exhale, and then bring that right hand down. Step forward with that left foot back to that standing forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold it all the way down, float the arms out to the side, come all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to the heart, take a breath, inhale and exhale. Inhale, float the arms all the way up, palms touch, exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway up, exhale, bend the knees, step back with the left leg leading to your downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Again, find your foundation. Really feel that energy coming up from the earth. Inhale and exhale. And then little weight into the right heel. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Bend the left knee. Step that left foot forward. Drop that right heel to the left. And then reaching the right left fingertips forward. Sweep that right arm all the way up. Open up to your warrior two. Now facing the right side of your mat. Inhale. And exhale, again, really press down into the feet, feel that energy. Inhale and exhale, and then bend the front elbow, rest it on that front thigh, and then take that right arm, reach it all the way up, find that nice length, the right side of the body. And again, maybe the hand rests across the lower back or up towards the ceiling or sky. Just make sure you're breathing. Inhale and exhale, and then sweep that arm back behind you. So we're giving this nice big circle, little movement here for that shoulder. Inhale and exhale. And the next time that arm reaches back towards the back of the mat, pause there, and then bring it all the way forward. Let right hand to the mat, come onto the toes of that back foot, and then bring that left arm up, twist to your left. You can also lower that back knee down. Inhale and exhale. Release the left hand down, right leg up beside the left. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold all the way down, float the arms out to the side, come all the way up, bring the palms together. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Pause here, maybe close the eyes for a couple breaths. Inhaling and exhaling. 
Good. Another breath. Inhale. And exhale. And then very gently let the eyes open. So we're going to do tree pose, which is a great pose for, I'm trying to find some place where the sun is <laughs> shining in my eyes, not working. So tree pose, um, which is again, great um, grounded uh, pose for really finding that grounding to the earth. So starting with the hands to the hips, let's start with our right leg as our standing leg. So lift the left heel, bring the left leg up, maybe bring the hands, um, interlace the fingers be below the knee or maybe behind the thigh. Take a breath here. You can either point the toes or flex the toes of that lifted leg. Inhale and exhale. Now bring your right hand to your hip. Begin to open that left leg to the side. So when you open that left leg, don't go so far that you lose your hip points facing forward. And then the toes can come back down to the mat with a heel resting above the ankle. Or you can bring that foot to the inner calf or to the inner thigh. Again, whatever feels most supportive for you and where you can still find your breath. Bring your hands to your heart. Find that focal point. Find your breath, your balance. Inhale and exhale. Maybe the arms come overhead. Inhaling and exhale. Good. Again, really feel. Imagine the roots of that right foot growing all the way down to the center of the earth. Inhale and exhale. And again, bring the palms back to the heart. If you have the arms overhead, bring that left leg forward. Release the left leg back down. Release the hands. Take a breath. Inhale and exhale. Good. So same thing, second side. So again, finding balance on both feet. First mountain pose and then lift that right heel. And again, without dumping the weight over to that left hip. Bring that right leg up. Again, point or flex the foot. As long as there's energy in the leg, it doesn't matter. Inhale and exhale. And again, maybe the hand behind the thighs or the hands in front of the uh, resting on the shin. Inhale and exhale. And then gently again, just guide that leg a little out to the side. Land the foot wherever feels appropriate. So maybe again, big toes come back down to the mat. Maybe the foot to the inner calf or to the inner thigh, hands to the heart. Inhale and exhale, maybe the arms overhead. Inhale and exhale. You can find a shape of the posture where you can still have a steady flow with your breath. And then as you're ready, bring that leg back up, bring the hands back to the heart, lower that right leg down. Again, come back to your mountain pose. Once again, float the arms all the way up. Bring the palms together. Bring the hands to the heart. Pause here, bow the head towards the hands. Close the eyes. Again, or soft gaze down. Take a few breaths. Just notice how you feel. Again, just taking a few moments to honor the earth and our connection with the earth with these grounding yoga postures with our breath. And as you're ready, very gently let the eyes open. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out information about Gray Horse Yoga in the info section below. And I hope to see you sometime soon in the saddle or on the mat. Thanks, bye-bye.